All right, folks, it's Jake here from Metalwani, and we have Thomas Winkler from Glory Hammer. Thomas, how are you going? Hello, hello, Jake. Yeah, I'm fine. On the other side of the world. Yeah, we are. It's a, it's a very, very big distance, and it'd be good to see you guys come back down to the other side of this world, hopefully with this new album, and that's what we're here to talk about today. So, yeah, it's, it's very good to have the chance to have a chat. Yeah, uh, glad, <laughs> glad we can do that, and... Uh, I'm looking forward to coming back to Australia one day. I'm not sure if it will be possible this year. Probably not. But um, uh, next year is uh, is very likely that we actually come back to Australia for the second time. Yeah, that'd be really cool to see. Now, we're here to talk about the new album, so I guess we'll start off uh, discussing that. And I guess we're looking back. We've had Tales from the Kingdom of Fife that seems like it was a millennium ago, and we've also borne witness to the rise of the Chaos Wizards in... 1992, but on 31st of May this year, Glory Hammer is releasing Legends from Beyond the Galactic Terror Vortex onto the world. So, how excited are you to be entering another chapter in this long-running saga between Angus McFife and his battles against Zargathrax? Yeah, it's, it's really been a long time, and I'm glad that we finally managed to pull together really great songs again. Um, to be honest, I think... I, because I can tell it very objectively because I didn't write the songs myself mostly. So I can I can say uh, I think that the songs are even better than the last album. I know every musician ever says that for every new album, but um, yeah, I'm not sure if you already heard some new songs so far, but uh, if you did, I'm quite sure you would say the same as me. And um, I'm really looking forward to... Um, to see the reactions of people listening to the album for the first time. So if you do, please upload it to YouTube and I'll probably watch it <laughs> and comment. <laughs> yeah, no, I have heard uh, the new album and it is, it, I, I do agree with what you've said there, it is very impressive and I guess it's, it's one of those albums where, and this is one thing that I wanted to touch on a bit later, but I guess we can do it now. Um, it, it seems like there's been a lot of musical growth amongst all of the artists. You all seem to be firing on all cylinders. I mean, you, your performance vocally is quite strong. Um, Sir Proletius on guitar, very strong again. Hoots has a bass solo in there, which is incredible. Uh, the keys are, are remarkable. I mean, it's a really well-packaged album. So how happy is everyone with how that recording has come together? Yeah, I mean, um, it was a, it, as you said before, it's a long time that we released our last album. And, um, it was quite a bit, uh, you know, a, a time where everyone was looking, looking forward to finally record again, to finally write some new songs. And um, when it now, when it did happen, then of course everyone was really pleased with the result in the end. But um, till t till then, it was quite a long way to go. So it was hard work, and um, I hope people also can hear that hard work. So it pays out in the end that we <laughs> that we actually had to go to hospital sometime. Even I had to go to hospital because uh, I was recording the um, the video clip flying to space as no joke. Uh, my whole body was swollen after that, and uh, so you see the the effort Glory Hammer takes to to bring the best for their for their knights for their mighty warriors yeah. out in the world. Yeah, and and we will talk about the film clip a little bit later, but I do want to touch on I guess the story from uh, Legends from Beyond the Galactic Terror Vortex because. It has been a few years since Rise of the Chaos Wizards, and can you tell us about how the universe has changed in that time and where the tale of Angus McFife and Zargathrax is headed? Yeah, the ending of the last album was like uh, the whole universe was destroyed. So um, only the evil sorcerer managed to disappear through a wormhole uh, to another dimension, and Angus McFive followed them. So that's where the, the third album starts. Um, when Angus appears in this new dimension, everything is corrupted by evil already, uh, because uh, Sargothrax is basically the, the emperor of this other dimension. And, um, well, <laughs> Angus McFive finds out that his hammer doesn't work anymore because it's not uh, charged with the right energy, it's still charged with the energy of the old dimension, and that will be the main task to... Um, recharge the hammer so he has a chance to fight against Sargathrax once again. And uh, there's, a, <laughs> there's a quite uh, 
well, sad ending, I'd say. Actually, I did cry a little bit when I recorded the album. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the, I guess expanding on that tale there, you, you're talking about um, Angus having to try and re-energise the hammer, and that ties into the film clip that you guys have already released for the song Glory Hammer. Um, the film clip was really well shot, it looks incredibly awesome, and it, it fits the music really well. Do you have any plans to release further film clips? Uh, yeah, we do actually. Um, soon, I think it will be next week, there will be another uh, video, it's a, a lyric video though. And then after that, well, at the day uh, when the new album is released on the 31st May, uh, another video clip will come out uh, of the song Hoots Force. Um, I myself, I'm really looking forward to, to actually seeing the result. I haven't seen it yet, but since the the other one, the Glory Hammer song, turned out so well, I expect nothing less than, uh, than well, the same actually, just a bit cooler even. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Now, this album, it sort of aligns with a... I guess what I've noticed is a bit of a pattern between Glory Hammer albums, and it seems that you, you like hitting the 10 song mark per album, and you've normally got yeah. nine normal length songs and then an epic duration closer at the end. Is that a conscious decision when you guys go into writing a new album? Yeah, yeah, it is actually. Well, since uh, Chris Bose is still mostly writing uh, the songs, or the concept at least, um, he, I think he has this, this um, pattern in mind so the old fans will get what they like you know just the same pattern again but with, with different songs of course and a different subject of the of the theme we're actually singing about also uh, musically it's it's always a bit uh, different touch of the music I'd say first one was more like um, fantasy medieval um, kind of, of style and then the second one was more sci-fi the third one is probably sci-fi sci-fi again mixed with a bit uh, darker moods you know darker melodies so um it's still the same but done differently this album is a really good mix between the uh, sci-fi elements from your previous album and also the fantasy elements as well as the darker sort of tone that you mentioned and there's a lot of variety on the songs on the album. So you've got um, tracks like Power of Laser, Dragon Fire, which are, um, it, it seems like it's uh, very influenced by a band like Dragon Force. It's got, got a lot of great keys and a lot of speed in it. But then you've got um, a song like Hoots Force, which is a lot slower, but still very powerful and sort of a throwback to that fantasy uh, sort of notion. So I guess that there is a lot of, on offer here for fans of all uh, all phases of Glory Hammer's career. It's funny. It's funny you say uh, Hoots Force is uh, slower <laughs> because I nearly die every time I sing it. <laughs> for me, it's really fast actually. But you, you're right. Um, Glory Hammer is a mixture of uh, several power metal cliches, of course, and we also play with those cliches. It's a it's a fun thing to do. We're not making fun. Uh, of power metal, but we just we just love doing power metal and love all its cliches, and that's probably what you can hear in the end result. Then, yeah, definitely. Now, you guys have a guest appearance on this album with a keyboard solo from the mighty Jens Johansson, um, who's from Hammerfall. How did that come about, and how happy are you with how his contribution turned out on the album? Yeah, uh, Jens Johansson, actually from Stratovarius. Uh, his his brother is from Hammerfall, I think. Um, but yeah, it was really cool that he that he said yes to contributing a really cool um, uh, keyboard solo on the album. And uh, well, it turned out he's actually my my father. Did you know that? He is. He's the, he's king, the king of, of Dundee. Five. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, so people finally know now who is the actual king of Five. I'm still just a prince. Uh, of course, one day I hope that I can, I can manage to become. So the album artwork for this, it, it's been managed by Dan Goldsworthy. Now I know that Dan has a long-running relationship with Christopher and it's someone who you guys have used uh, for every album now. What is it that impresses you about Dan's work that keeps you going back for more? I mean, he's a great artist, as you can see. For every for every cover he's done, it's turned out really well. Exactly what we expected from him 
each time. And he also has also done a lot of uh, our T-shirt artworks, um, which also turn out great and people love it. So um, I think it's it's great to stick with the same guy as long as he's delivering such uh, beautiful artworks. And uh, there's no there's no need to change as long as he's got the time and uh, has fun to draw this stuff. It's it's a perfect uh, symbiosis for for the two of us. Yeah, definitely. Now, the deluxe edition of Legends from the Beyond the Galactic Terra Vortex also comes with a symphonic version of the record. Now, historically, these are being curated by the Cowden Beast Symphony Orchestra. Did you guys again entrust the services of the Cowden Beast Symphony Orchestra to reimagine <laughs> these songs? Yeah, you know, our drummer, Ben Turk, he, uh, he actually complains that we didn't mention him because uh, he's actually the guy writing all this, this cool orchestration stuff. And um, he's also the guy programming all the cool, or basically our drummer, Ben Turk. Um, well, <laughs> having said that, um, I just met the guy who's an actual um, orchestral leader where I live. And he, well, he knows how to actually, um, you know, lead an orchestra. And I discussed with him that maybe one day, um, when we do a live DVD, he'll bring his orchestra and um, play with us along for a live show. How great would that be? That'd be incredible. <laughs> I mean, that, that would be the the uh, best thing to do, I think. Yeah, that, that would be absolutely incredible, and it would be a great show to experience now. I do have one final question for you, Thomas. So, Glory Hammer's got a very busy schedule ahead of themselves. Um, you've got extensive summer festivals across Europe this year, and even you're even booked as far ahead as a headlining tour of Europe announced for early 2020. What else is on the cards mm -hmm. for Glory Hammer in the near future, and where can we expect to see you guys soon? If I'd known that, I'd uh, probably kill myself. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's really cool to have a lot of stuff going on. It's great to see people enjoying our music. Um, but, you know, I'm also a lawyer in Switzerland. I also have an office that I run myself. So it's sometimes a bit um, hard to organize all that stuff. Um, that's why, um, <laughs> if I'd known that there's even more stuff coming, um, I had to quit either Glory Hammer or my job, um, my day, actual day job. But I, I won't do that, I promise, because um, I love both of those those things too much so they would ever quit one of those um yeah who knows what will happen next i mean um we we try to release a new album as soon as possible not waiting another a thousand years you know to release another album i guess that's the the next step for gloria is just to write new songs again and um besides that we'll see what the future brings wonderful thomas thank you I'm so quite, much i'm uh, quite confident time. that the glory hammer will stick around for the next you know 60 years at least <laughs> since we want to release 21 albums in total so we yeah. have a lot to do I'm, I'm sure that they will thomas thank you so much for your time and we look forward to getting legends from beyond the galactic terror vortex in our hands <laughs>